Hi everyone, Jason here, local tech expert, uh, with another video for you. Today's just a rant video. Um, first, first things first, uh, my desk buddy today is G1 Cosmos. Uh, I won't transform him, I did just before, but these G1 toys, a um, little bit scary to transform sometimes, and this guy was a bit stiff. But um, he is this one here. Uh, Mine's a little bit duller, a little bit of uh, paint coming off his head there, but um, generally good condition. He's got his rub sign, rub sign down the, down here. Don't know if that still works actually. Yeah, it still works. Um, also, so today's video, um, I'll preface by saying it's probably not in my best interest to to make this video, but I think it was important to, to let people know. I sort of had a suspicion things like this were going on, but I um, had a client come to me last week um, and it sort of confirmed my suspicions, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I buy a lot of gear from PLE, um, parts and things. If you don't know, PLE are sort of the gold star um, computer sales parts retailer here in WA probably they're definitely the biggest in WA I'm not sure they might even be the biggest in uh, Australia but you can see they specialize in gaming gear and components and things like that but um, unfortunately I didn't get the receipts I should have recorded the repair I did last week for a client um, they brought a machine in I sold them maybe four months ago I uh, wasn't posting so they actually took it to PLE computers and um, they diagnosed it as a motherboard issue. Um, so when I when it got here, um, he brought the his invoice which from PLE which stated that they'd isolated isolated tested the motherboard, but then told them that they didn't have any motherboards to supply them. Uh, it was a seventh gen i7, so socket one one five one. Which doesn't surprise me they they deal with more recent um components so but kind of a little bit of a red flag there in terms of i'm not sure how you isolate test a motherboard without having a motherboard um or cpu motherboard combinations anyway um but anyway uh after they dropped it off i um had a quick look at it powered it on and sure enough it didn't didn't post or anything. Um, my first step after that is usually disconnect everything and try and post again. So this the SATA cables are already unplugged um, from PLE. Um, they hadn't plugged them back in again after they'd returned the PC to the client. Um, but after replacing the the RAM, it started posting. So I'm. I'm pretty sure they didn't, I mean, that should be one of the very first things you test, surely. Uh, um, so maybe their testing processes weren't weren't followed, I'm not too sure. But um, after replacing the RAM, it fired into BIOS, uh, and I saw that the CPU temperatures were hitting above 80 degrees. Um, and then on further inspection, I found that the CPU cooler was not reattached it was literally one thread on one corner of the cpu cooler was uh was bolted down so and in addition to that there was no thermal paste applied to the cpu either so what it looks to me is what's happened is they've unplugged the sata cables uh attempted to power it up saw that it wasn't posting uh taken the cpu cooler off had a look at the cpu Noticed it was a 7th gen i7 and then just told the client that they needed a motherboard upgrade or replacement. The actual invoice said that the fault finder found that it was a motherboard issue, but um, it was just RAM. It was just a RAM issue. Uh, one of the sticks was, was dead, which is sort of the first thing that you test, really. One of the first things, anyway. So, um, it's just, I'm not too sure if it's... Uh, if the, they were trying to upsell the client a motherboard CPU combination as well as RAM because it was actually a RAM issue, so they would have needed RAM as well. Um, that board's DDR4, so they definitely have 
they definitely have DDR4 in 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 stock, you know, plenty of DDR4 on their website. So, um, yeah, so I don't know if it was just a, a case of wanting to upsell the client to, to upgrade their machine or if it was um, testing procedures weren't followed correctly. I know that um, I've worked on help desk before and I know that KPIs, uh, performance indexes, uh, how many cases you close is what you're judged on. So the, the faster you can close a case, the more cases you can close and the better performance you get. Um, not the best performance indicator is how many cases you can close. A uh, better one is uh, how many you can close to satisfaction. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's incompetence or they're trying to upsell clients, but this is the sort of thing that I sort of suspected happened with um, some of the larger retailers. Uh, I mean, having a monopoly means that people, A, trust you, and B, um, you, you, you can make the sales, basically. So just a bit of a cautionary tale for you guys out there. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya!